everybody, welcome to the Sway Corner. For those joining us for the very first time, welcome y'all, welcome. My name is Orlunda for those first timers, it's for the Sway Fam. Hey y'all, how's it going? Today, ooh, I'm coming to you with like a side situation happening. Anyway, so what we are trying today is the black opal palette. These two palettes here will do like Swat, I'll swatch both of them and then we'll show you how exactly like how they are and how pigmented they are and all of that stuff, the colors that they have. Um, the one is the Uzuri palette. Uh, Uzuri means beauty in Swahili and Uzuri, Uzuri celebrates the beauty of self-expression. Up your glam game with shades of red, up turquoise, misty teal and shimmery crystal. And then I'm also doing the Ukweli eyeshadow palette and that's that one there. Ukweli means truth in Swahili and Ukweli means Ukweli speaks to our natural goddess authenticity go together shades of ember and amber push it just past nude to play up with to play up eyes with a subtle edge of shimmer so that's basically those two shades oh, is black opal still a thing do we know that it's still a thing like what's happening I know like they are one of the most um I think the expensive drugstore products uh, next to like Elizabeth Arden for example but yeah they're really like black girl friendly um brand but I feel like they're a bit expensive for like the measure of product that you get from them it's just my take so I'm going to start off with the Uzuri which is that palette there and this palette basically that's the colors in the palette it has six different shades in there and all their names are in Swahili and then translated to English. I love the names. I'll tell you now while we're swatching them. So, that's because I love the names. So, the first one we're going to try is Pride. And Pride is that black there. And then we're going to try Goodness. And Goodness is almost like... I don't know what to call this type of pink. Like it shows almost white on my skin, but it's like um it's not even the pink here, it's like a very faded out type of pink. I don't know what to call the type of color. Because I figured I'll put probably somewhere here, but eh. and then we have shine. Shine is a beautiful turquoise there. That turquoise is shine. And then you have a happiness, and happiness is almost like a deep gray that one and then we have a dark blue that is a dark blue and that dark blue is moto and then i'm going to give you almost like a silver and that silver there is strength so they're very beautiful colors anyway so i like the names the pride goodness happiness shine strength and fire that's pretty cool um yeah so basically those are the shades i have now lost the names of the the cup paper that has the ukweli um shades but if i find it i'm going to add here or insert it now that's the ukweli palette and that's what this looks like and that's what they mean by very natural everyday type of shade it has like that orange there i'm gonna swatch all of them so it holds about six shades um four shimmers five shimmers and that dark brown there that's not a shimmer so that the dark brown it's called prosperity And that's the orange, almost like sun dune, sun kiss type of shade. That's called the perfection. Followed by intelligence. And this one here is greatness. And education. Ooh, education really shimmers and the last one is chic so 
now that we've swatched both of them before we go to the palette um it says that um this two eyeshadow uh, palettes um, are color rich shadows accessorize your eyes in ultra chic and then it all natural glam looks the benefit is that it's vitamin enriched formulas condition and offer a silky smooth finish pigment rich and crease resistant and paraben free how to use it using an eyeshadow brush apply color dry for rich shimmer color or wet for intense pigment color use each shadow separately or blend shades to create a natural a neutral smoky or sophisticated look high pigment satin to matte finish and a seamless coverage so that's what they're saying that this palette is like so i don't know what i'm going to create right now it's like so weird because it's two different palettes I'm gonna try and take from each palette and then create a look. I'm gonna try and bring you closer. I'm gonna tie my hair up on the side so it doesn't come into the face. I've done, I've done, well, partially, I've, I've partially done my eyebrows, but we'll clean them up just before we start. So I'm gonna bring you closer. So now you're literally in my face face. Oops. I'm going to clean up my under eye using my concealer from L'Oreal. Just under the eyebrow. And blend it out with a nice, like, uh, brush, flat brush. I'm gonna draw it all the way down to the lid. By the way, I'm, I'm wearing lash extensions today. The, I don't know what you call the type of lashes. You know those, they're like three, those type of ones in the lashes and then you, you put them on. I did that. I'm gonna start off with the brown in the Oquelli palette, the dark brown. And do, put that in the crease of my eyes. Just going in with a blending brush and brush it and blending it up. Okay, I'm going to use the same brush and then go into the dark blue of the Uzuri palette. And then put that in the crease, just darken my crease. I'm gonna try and not go all over and try and create like a halo eye. So I'm going right into the corner of my inner eye and outside and I'm just creating like a waving pattern so I can you can create like a nice hollow in the middle of my eye. Because I'm so used to creating looks that I like cut creasy. So now we're going the hollow eye. And literally I'm in my crease with this blue. I'm not blending it up or down, it's just in that one. I'm just trying to deepen it. I might go in there with a the black again to just deepen that hollow, but for now I think I like the way that this looks. And, it's, and by the way, the brown and this black that I'm using are both matte and it is really pigmented like the same. Oh, that's basically how that looks. It already looks nice. The open areas, areas that are open, you can hardly see because of my lashes, but I'm going to go in with my um essence i love color intensifying base just to make those pigments pop and then i'm also, also going to wet my brush like the instruction says now i'm just gonna i just want to create a nice hollow at the bottom there i mean at the top just want to make it a little bit high oh i really hope you can see this So I put that in there and now I'm going to spray my brush using the 
essence um, in into the snow glow set setting spray I'm gonna spray it onto my brush because they said you must wet your brush for the pigments to and then I'm going yeah for the pigments to really come out of the the shimmer colors and now I don't even want to go with the like blue or but I did blue before so I'm gonna go into a random color in the Ukweli palette that's the nature in the natural type of like palette and just go with and then put that in the middle of the eye I'm missing two separate sh two different shades and then just create that halo use the same old br brush that I used the small this brush is so nice because the, the way that it's angled more like a pen in a sense the pointiness and I'm just going to wipe off the shades that was already there and I'm going to go into a color in the Uzuri palette which is the bluish and black palette and I'm going to go into the turquoise and just in those areas that I realize are open I'm going to put that turquoise shade just above my eyelashes so that it creates like and then I'm going to just try and go around the halo there and then do the same thing on the other side of this turquoise is beautiful I think also because the brush is already wet so when I wipe it off now so it's creating beautiful pigment Well, that's beautiful and simple enough. I like it. I like the way that it looks. Looks cute. Okay, I'm gonna go and do my makeup and then come back and then do the, and the, the lower lid and then we'll close off this whole video. So I like the way this looks. It's simple but cute and then I'll give you guys my last thoughts on this palette um by the way just for eyebrow sake i have an eyebrow video up i'm going to link it up here on my channel how i do my eyebrows it's simple i haven't changed it at all in like a long while so i'll link the video up here so if you have any questions of how i do my eyebrows or products i use that video will be able to tell you exactly that all right cool i'll be right back so welcome back i finished most of my base i'm just going to quickly blush Okay, so I'm gonna go back into those two palettes that I've used. I'm just gonna clean everything up. I'm just going to here at the edge, the areas that I've messed up with my makeup application. So I'm just using the turquoise to just highlight those areas again because that's the areas that I've messed up most while applying my my makeup. The rest of the face so that's basically what i'm going to do and then i'm going to go into my lower lash line i don't usually apply anything there because i don't know what it is with me and like my eyes are just sensitive to that's why i don't add to my like this product so i don't like to put anything on my lower lash line but i feel like for this look i need to so i'm gonna i don't know if i must go with a black or dark green or turquoise or brown let me try this dark blue in the Uzuri palette and just going to go lightly into just my lower lash line just lightly 
And then I'm gonna try and keep a very neutral look and go into my La Chocolat from L'Oreal. And just do something because I like the way this looks already with like my look the way that it is. So I'm gonna just make it because La Chocolat is nice and brown and matte. Even know it's pink from overdoing the, the blush. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so this is basically the final look using the black opal palette so that is the blue eye that i created um what do i think about them well i like the uzuri palette very very much i love the pigment of that dark blue here it is so pretty like i know i have other blues but i don't think i have this blue in like matte no how so i like this i mean between the two of them this one is my favorite one um, but I couldn't care less about all the other colors because I feel like every other palette that comes out with like um, a foundation or not foundation but eyeshadow look and try to create colors usually comes with black and this type of like random like gray this gray here and that silver most palettes have that I remember I'm doing the smudge um, review product review and then they also had the, exactly those four colors there you know so in the dark blue but i like the this dark blue the pigment is beautiful you also have the turquoise there i've got about three or four palettes with this turquoise so that's the only thing that i'm a bit like eh, about but compared to this one like i feel like every person has the same type of natural shades you know and i like how shimmer it is but it's not a palette that i'm like excited about in a sense I'm not really excited about it only because this one only has like has one matte and all of them are shimmers well this one has two mattes the blue and the black are uh, matte and then the rest of them are shimmers so I would have preferred them to have at least more than one shimmer but I think also because most palettes are also that give you more of a natural look uh, finish eyeshadow look have, have more like matte products maybe this is like one of those where you're not creating a cut crease then you can use it but i feel like you're going to use the brown for everything and then the other colors is a crease for everything else for cut crease you're going to do cut crease you're going to use that you're going to use halo that brown otherwise you must use other palettes it's not a palette that has everything that i feel like if you if you're like traveling and you put it in your bag you have everything you're going to create the same type of look with like just different type of like um cut creases in terms of like shimmers different shimmers and that's basically how that's going to go but i mean most girls can get away with it it's not like people cannot it's just i'm just not overly like enthusiastic about the palette because i felt like it was going to give me because it's black opal i was going to give me more like pop of colors especially like maybe give me like a red reds are so rare for people are like in palettes and you know like a nice pigmented mint red because they always give us purple and they give us like pink not like a proper like ruby red like like lipstick type of red I would have expected them to give me that and maybe like fire for example or storm yeah fire for, you know what I mean so if that I would have expected it in this like creating multiples so it would have given me like a good they could have just given me like six, like three colors with like uh, the color itself and a shimmer like a matte and a shimmer and matte and a shimmer so like a good red a like properly red that can like shows red on face we don't have to use like a lipstick for you to create that type of pigment red that you need to create as a person of dark skin like most palettes don't have that type of red they have purples and they have oranges but the one is like a banging red they just don't so we have to like improvise and use like lipsticks or like matte lipsticks glosses and like put a shade before it properly sets you know so color i would have said the color that that are like very hard to find they put in their palette that would be so cool and super and at what the price you know um i'm lucky because i didn't have to buy this one um but still for people who have to buy it this palette alone is 389 you can't literally buy more than two palettes you know from like maybelline and then you get a variety 
of color compared to like the neutral that you get with this one you know what i mean so you spend 389 for only six colors where you could literally spend 350 bucks for like a bigger palette um eyeshadow palette and for different brand and have multiple colors and have more vari variations varieties have a variety of colors so that's just my thing so that's the kind of thing i'm like oh, look, ugh, they could have done better and they didn't and i'm kind of disappointed by that um with their things and i think i don't have to buy it but still like it's very disappointing you know <laughs> it does anyway but with all of that i like expected it to be a little bit more you know i feel like this is like the blue is so only a palette that i'm going to give my sister she loves blue and she'll have fun with it more than me even though i probably just it with that dark pigment blue but it's still not like as much as i like it it's not like oh my god overwhelmingly like depending on where you are that's the only shade that you find i'm sorry about the dogs i'm just gonna finish in the middle of the night like it's just finish this whole segment and anyway so i think that's why black opal is literally like where it is now like it's there but it's not like the overwhelming product that everybody wants like back in the day that people used to like because you feel like the only time that you can find your pigment and just uh is in black opal now there's so much variety i feel like they must come to the party and give us like colors and stuff like that uh especially if you're gonna come and ship all the way to africa like don't just give us like give us what we need you know in a sense um even though like foundation wise the shades are there for every like dark person um but yeah even then i feel like it's a bit too pricey for my for me in general uh yeah 